Welcome back. I think we're enjoying the nicest part of the day out here on the KCRE 3 patio with our A list winner, our KCRE 3 A list winner for Best Winery in the Sacramento region from Najar wine Vineyards in Grass Valley. Owner Mary Najar and Chef Georgia Cross are here doing some wine and food pairings. First of all, congratulations on your big win. Thank you very much. So, it's very exciting. Tell us exactly where you're located up there. So, we're about an hour north of Sacramento uh, off of Highway 80. It's about an hour from here. And how long have you guys been in the wine business? You know, the vineyard's been around since 1998. And the winery, the tasting room since 2009. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Best part of, of doing wine in that region, in your opinion? Oh, my. It's just the rolling, the foothills, um, the view, the vines, the pond, the island. It's just time stops. It's when you're there, it's spectacular. Yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So you brought some of your favorite wines. We did. And Chef is going to start doing some pairings for us. So why don't we start out with maybe the first one. And what is the first thing that you're plating over the here? The first thing that we have is a smoked salmon roulade. It's wrapped in a spring roll rice pop pepper paper. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and it's got a cashew ginger sauce with cilantro. Oh, very nice. So it goes very well with our rosé. It's got cucumber and braised leeks. And so rosé has become certainly more popular in the last couple of years, especially Mary. Mm -hmm. And rosé in the summer, especially on a hot day like this, is super refreshing. So this rosé is one of our best sellers in the tasting room. If we, uh, during the summer when we have our events, when we have our concerts, our music on, on the weekends, um, this is a blend of Grenache and of Zinfandel. And it's slightly sweet, it's off dry, so the slight sweetness in it uh, uh, balances very well with the sauces, uh, the ginger sauce, and really enhances the, the flavor of the salmon. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the second plate. And the second plate is? The second plate is tri tip, beef tri tip that is marinated and grilled. And then I blistered the little cherry tomatoes. We make our own cream corn, and it's got a little arugula salad How and do you balsamic them? vinaigrette. You put them under the broiler. Toss them with olive oil and okay. put them under the broiler until they get the little grilled. Because they're so little, you can't put them on and the that, grill. No, that would probably not <laughs> end well. Um, that probably just takes what, a few minutes? Yeah, it does. Uh huh. You Beautiful. just have to have it on high, super high, you know, under. All right, there. Mary. So we'll ask you with the tri-tip. What do so you like? So with the tri-tip, typically we'll pair our award-winning. This was a gold medal winner at the San Francisco Chronicle Wine Competition called La Boheme. It's a Bordeaux blend. So the Cabernet Sauvignon in it, Cabernet Franc, uh, Malbec, Petit Verdot really pair beautifully with the tri-tip or any roasted meat. So that's a sure win. And tri-tip, you don't necessarily need. You don't need that full cab. You could go with a real nice blend. Absolutely, of of absolutely. Things. A lot of Bordeaux. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now now for plate three. Plate three is going to be our hazelnut sponge cake that's filled with uh, apricot and cream and then I've got crushed hazelnuts on top and it goes really well with our port when you drizzle chocolate ganache on top. Ah, I like how you roll. It's well, I good. did bring a port today, Chef. So I brought our port, our dessert, uh, Syrah. That goes very well as a sipping wine by itself, as a dessert wine. As you can see, it's in a very elegant bottle. Perfect way to wrap up your um, dinner. We do have, we have several varietals. We have more than 16 to 17 varietals of grapes. We have more than 20 wines. And we do complimentary wine tasting. We're one of the very few people who do that yeah, over the so weekend. You can go up and try a variety of things. Okay, so to have you both both here. It seems like these days I hear more and more that people don't necessarily have to pair the traditional wines with foods. So where do you stand on that? I have actually a great story. We have a Barbera, which is an Italian bridal, red wine, and I had a hard time pairing it when I had to write a recipe. So I got, I went out of the box and grabbed Swiss cheese, and Swiss cheese goes really You're well. You're kidding. With it. Mm -hmm. Do you just know that, or do no, you have to experiment? No, that one took me a long time. I experimented it with everything. And I've I never thought about yesterday. what to pair with Swiss cheese. We paired it yesterday with a grilled chicken skewer. I made a Swiss cheese fondue on top of braised greens and, and it went perfectly. This is why they won the case Series 3 A list. So yesterday we did, it. in fact I'm happy you brought that up, we did have a wine and food pairing. We also do our winery tours where you get to taste from the barrels. So we have a lot of these events and our biggest thing is Wine Fest as well right now, which is all about the wine, the food and the music. We have um, music every weekend, concerts. Uh, we do not have a shortage event. of places to go no. in this area. So thank you very much You're to very both welcome. of you for coming in.